All right, here's one of these lacrosse balls that um, a number of you are familiar with. So people that have come to the sessions way back at the beginning had access to these, but I bet you are not using them. Looking after our soft tissues, our muscles, um, and how they interact together with the rest of our bodies is really important for staying as injury free as possible and making the most of your fitness. It makes everything else more effective when you go to stretch, when you go to move, when you go to exercise. Uh, so we, again, in the groups we use foam rollers, the bigger surface area to get some of this happening. <coughs> Excuse me. But that's good and that's all well, but we do adapt to that sort of thing. We get used to it. And to really get into the, the areas a little bit more intensively, something like a lacrosse ball is a really great density and a great size to apply that little bit more pressure in the, in the right areas. And the areas I want to suggest you focus on today are around the shoulder, the shoulder blade, up into the, the top of the, the shoulder and into the base of the neck. That kind of area is an area that often has a lot of tension from where people spend time sitting, working on the computer, driving, or anything else that creates a lot of this, this stress and holds it within that part of the body. So to, to free that up, to keep you pain-free and feeling good, this is a fantastic tool that you can carry around with you, obviously very portable, and uh, use regularly throughout the day. All you need is the ball and a wall, ideally. You could obviously do this on the floor, but that then has quite a lot of your body weight going straight through, whereas here we can decide exactly how much weight to put into that ball. The area I'm gonna get you to focus on is this sort of muscular part around the inside of the shoulder blade. So close to the center, if you like, closer to the spine. Also underneath that is a great area to work and then higher up towards the trap part right up here is a little bit more tricky to work, but you're gonna find some benefit from doing so. So first of all, place the ball in that rougher area between you and the wall, and then lean as much or as little weight as you want to, as you can handle basically. You wanna make sure you're getting the areas that do feel painful initially, and give them a, enough um, rolling to reduce some of that tension. As I'm doing now, you go back and forth, you find a really good area, you know when you've got a good area. And you can also, with this area, stretch stretch your body to expose a bit more of that muscle tissue to the ball and that yeah just makes it a bit more interesting okay or up and down is also good as well you've got to hunt around to find the areas that really benefit from this most i'd recommend just spending a minute or so allowing that area to respond to relax to become less painful before you move on so then we can work around that but eventually get up and try this area closer to the top of that that shoulder area area how many times am i saying that all right send your hips further forward so that you send more weight into that ball without if you stay upright the ball's either going to pop up or down so put that weight a little bit more hips are going forward move around a little, little bit find the best area for you and for anybody that suffers with either shoulders or even neck pain, these areas being worked can really help. So you get that ball, if you haven't got one lacrosse ball, not too difficult to find, especially on the internet, it will be a worthwhile investment and it will pay off. Those few minutes that you can do throughout the day will make a massive difference. You're probably not doing it now, so I recommend you do it. Bye bye.